on the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Bryce Canyon National Park, 14 miles. But we are going to Kodokro. So coming into Kodachrome Basin State Park. This is looking out the window of our camper. The wind is blowing so strong. I heard a report that uh, we could expect like 65 mile an hour gusts. And in the morning, it's supposed to be like 17 or 18 degrees. Okay, so in the town of Tropic, there's this restaurant that Fred heard was pretty good. It's called Showdown's Restaurant. There it is. With a chance of snow tonight, I needed a little comfort food. So it's four o'clock in the morning and look, it's snowing. See it? Look on the tire here. I can't believe it. We have snow. It's so pretty. Fred's trying to get the, the frost and the snow off of the window. So we're so excited about this snow that it's 722. We are up, dressed, in the truck, and ready to go drive around and explore. So this is Code Chrome State Park with a little bit of snow. So the laundromat here is really very nice. Look inside. Very modern, nice. And then the restrooms are in there. So we're gonna get some coffee and head to Bryce this morning. and then go into Bryce before this snow starts to melt so we can get some pictures. These roads are icy. We're trying to be extra careful. So I'm walking out to this viewpoint at Bryce and I have slipped three times. Oh my God, this is so slippery. I'm just not used to this. Okay, this is the amphitheater.
Oh wow, check this out. How pretty, and it's a little chilly out. <gasps> Look at that. Can't believe it. Watch out for the ice. Watch out for the ice. Watch out for the ice. <laughs> fell when he got out I uh I but I'll say I did the same thing <laughs> it's, it's slippery as hell oh my god okay so we just did something a little different oh uh, you know while we were checking out Bryce checking out to make sure we could get a campsite here we ran into this little place here it's called Ruby's Inn and Campground they have electric they have showers um, a lot more amenities than there are at the national park we typically always like to stay at the national parks but right now it's so cold um, we don't want to have to use our jackeries for heat just you know having the ability to run our space heater whenever we want and not worry about uh, where we're going to get the power is a plus for us so we went ahead and got three nights here instead of staying inside of bryce and it's right outside the um, park gate, very close to Bryce. Okay, so we are back in tropics and this is where we went to the grocery store last night. They have this Rustler's restaurant next door. Fred said it looked like they might have a pretty good breakfast here. we went into the hardware store just to check it out after breakfast and look it's snowing again <laughs> oh my gosh I can't believe this it's so pretty so we're back at the camper um, Fred just went back into town today and um, ran a few errands and he brought back a pizza it's about five o'clock i think that he really just wanted to get out for a few minutes and um i don't mind sitting in the camper in the afternoons when it's cold but he sits outside and um you know i guess he just kind of needed a break from the elements but i've been sitting in here i've been reading my book this afternoon it's so cold outside, so I don't mind sitting in here. I, I enjoy it. I have this little space heater going. And then Lucy, let's see. Lucy is very happy right there in the sun. And then Lily <laughs> is over here. She's pretty happy too. So the three girls have been sitting in the camper all afternoon enjoying a little quiet time relaxing it's been a great afternoon okay so first we're going to do the grand parade trail it's one and a half miles our little dogs love these hikes come on let's go She has to be the lead. Look at 
Isn't that funny? I'm here. I'm here. Go, Lily. Stand up. Stand up. <laughs> she doesn't want her harness on. Stand she up. wants to run. She's like a toddler, an unruly toddler. Okay, get up. <laughs> Come on, let's go this way. Let's go, Lily. <laughs> this is pretty cool back here. Oh boy. A very tiny little slot canyon. Come on, let's go. Come on, Lucy. Look at that down there. So instead of making the loop for the Grand Parade Trail, we're gonna go this way to the right and go to the Box Canyon. You know, when we started this trail, the truck said it was 37 degrees outside. And I am dressed for it. Oh look, there's still some ice on the ground. A little bit of ice. But, I'll tell you, I've got so many layers on right now, I'm burning up. Oh boy. A little bit of an obstacle course here. I'm pretty sure that this is what they mean by a box canyon as we're surrounded. The only opening is right through there where we came. It is really very pretty. Look at that. You know, this canyon, this box canyon, a long time ago, would have been a great place to corral animals, horses or cattle. What in the world kind of a plant is that? Now, Lily, stop tormenting Lucy. Let's go. Come on, get the truck for you girls to get some water. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Lucy does like to stay with me, doesn't she? <laughs> Lily, come <laughs> on. Lily, let's go. On, Lily. Lily has behavioral issues. Come on, Lucy. Lily is Fred's dog, and Lucy is my dog. <laughs> you see which one is the better behaved. Let's go. So this is the trail that we just did. It was at 1.8 miles. Not too bad. Camping here at Kodachrome has been kind of difficult. You know, the first day we came in, we had the gale force winds. Second day, it snowed, it was still windy. Today, it's still windy. It's been so windy, we've not been able to put the canopy tent up. So Fred made this little makeshift tarp that kind of cut the wind back. And tonight for dinner, we are having spaghetti, which this is a spaghetti sauce. Got our pasta noodles, little garlic bread toast. <laughs> a warm meal on a cold night, and we're looking forward to it. I found this little Indian arrowhead at one of the gift stores in Tropic today. I think my dad would really like that. So I, I'm going to give this to him. Pretty sharp. Okay, so a couple of things about the different campgrounds. 
in this state park. They've got the Basin Campground and the Arch Campground. So we're staying in the Arch Campground. Um, the roads are not paved, the sites are gravel, and the restroom facilities, you only have the vault toilets. However, you do have electricity. The Basin Campground, the roads are paved, the sites are paved, the restroom facilities are great. Um, fantastic showers. If you can get in the Basin Campground, that's what I would advise. But I did notice that many of the sites in the Basin Campground don't have electric. I think that some do. So if you want electricity and you can get a site in Basin that has electricity, go for the Basin Campground. Today is April 14th. It's a Thursday. It's about 10.30 in the morning. It took me a while to get up and out of the camper this morning because it was so cold. It was um, in the 20s. But it's supposed to warm up to the 60s today, so it should be a really pretty day. Today is our 22nd day of camping. And we are headed to do, what is it called? The Angels, what's this trail called? Angel something. Angel something. <laughs> Angels Palace Trail. Oh, Red Rock Hoodoos on this trail. More uphill. Maybe I'll get a view up here. Yeah, it's pretty up here. This trail seems to be more popular than the one we did yesterday. French people. Pretty. I have a camera in one hand and a GoPro in the other hand, so I have no free hands. I have to be very careful not to slip. Very pretty. I like this trail better than the trail we did yesterday. Much more scenic. Oh, this is a great view. I think this is the end. This is probably the view that we would just work for. See these white rocks? I saw some reference to those. It's one of the unique things about this park. And it is called Kodachrome after Kodak. It was named something else before, and it took many years to get Kodak to agree to let them officially name this park Kodachrome. Beautiful views up here. Look at this. This is a little bit of a strenuous hike. A lot of up and downs and scrambling. You definitely have to watch your step. Little hoodoos. I would bet that this is the nicest trail in this park. I think they have six. There's one, it's about a half a mile little nature trail, interpretive trail. I heard that was worth doing. We might try that. Pretty slippery down here. 
there's a point out there you might want to walk out and take a good panorama picture okay <laughs> i don't want to go stand on that point <laughs> I'm not sure what those cabins are down there. They look cute. I bet you can rent them. We have to go back up this way. We pick up the trail we came in on to go back. I think we're at a dead end up here. There's a cliff over there. Okay, are you ready to go? Let's yeah. go. Come on. Come on, girls. So if you have the All Trails app, like I do, be sure you turn it on at the start of this trail because this trail is not well marked. We are walking aimlessly right now, and I did not turn on my All Trails app at the start, which was my mistake. So frequently when we're on these trails, little Lucy, she can't hang with us and she ends up getting carried. <laughs> Let's go, come on. She's pretty exhausted. Well, I can relate. On certain days, I've been that way too. Let's go, girl. Come on. Lucy, I need to carry you some more. Is she trying to convince Lucy to come? Move. Yeah, tell Lucy to speed it up. Come here, slow folks. Okay. All right, let's go. they do offer horse rides. We are now driving back to our campsite. This is the vault toilet that we have for the Arch Campgrounds. Campsite 40. And we're 41. You can see we have not set up anything here due to the weather. So today was basically a housekeeping day. After our hike, we came back and we cleaned up the camper. Then we both went and showered. And now we are headed into town to go get something to eat. And in the morning, we leave for um, Bryce Canyon. So we came here the other day for breakfast and Fred wanted to try it. Their dinner menu. Did I get the first order? I got the salmon with mango salsa. Look, oh my gosh, what is coming down the road? Cows, they're just loose. like we have some mule deer in this pasture about five of them okay so campsite number 41 at Kodachrome we bid farewell we are done we're ready to pull out of here not much to this campsite but I probably feel that way because of the weather that we've had and us not being able to deploy our full campsite but today it's a beautiful day. What is today? Friday? Today is Friday. Today is Friday and we are headed to Bryce Canyon. But we went on a couple of really good hikes. The shower facilities were great and we were allowed to take our dogs. So there's something to be said for these state parks. Thanks again and please be sure you subscribe if you have not already. the road again just can't wait to get on the road again